the Pluto and Aquarius series, and we are going to be talking about Pluto and Aquarius in the fourth house for Scorpio rising. So if you are Scorpio rising, these are some of the themes that will be playing out while Pluto is in transit in Aquarius. Um, for those of y'all checking in for the first time, you already know what it is. Well, I guess you don't know what it is, but my name is Arani Storm, aka Crew. And I am your cosmic root work astrologist specializing in evolutionary astrology. And you can find me on all social media at Rainy Storm. You can find my link below in the bio if you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, as well as um, courses, um, events, things like that. And also make sure that y'all subscribe to my newsletter as I will be on a new little tink you know, a new little, whatever you want to call it, um, moving forward. So definitely subscribe to that. I'll be dropping some goodies for the month for real this time because we're committed and we're going to do things differently. <laughs> and so if you are definitely interested or if you're interested in that, that link will definitely be below. Make sure y'all subscribe, like. Also leave comments below because I love when y'all talk to me through the comments. And if you want to leave anything extra. And make sure you share this if you have Scorpio Rising buddies. You are a Scorpio Rising. Or if you have Aquarius in the fourth house. This one is for you. Or if you're just learning along, of course, this is for you as well. So we are going to be moving into Pluto and Aquarius in 2024. And it will be there for... A good hefty 19, 20 years, baby. And when Pluto is in Aquarius, just in general, just the energy of Pluto is just that energy and planetary of planet of death and rebirth and transformation. This is where we talk about the things that are hidden beneath the surface that have to literally be pulled and scrapped out to become anew. And while we have that energy here, we also have a plant, uh, Aquarius here that is ruled by not only Saturn, but also Uranus. And even though there's like this, this structure around certain things with Saturnian energy or Aquarian energy, there's also this rebellious nature in energy and spirit. So off the bat, where we have had Pluto in Capricorn, which we have seen the bling bling era, the 99 and 2000s era, the MTV Cribs era, the rise of technology and in, in you know the internet and capitalism and e-commerce and government well they are, are already kind of doing whatever they was doing but just seeing the shadow uh big brother green screen series of pluto in capricorn we are going to be moving into pluto and aquarius and so yes pluto and aquarius have you have you probably heard is power to the people Yes, it is very much so power to the people. We're putting the energy in the hands, Pluto meaning power, in the energy of the collective, which is Aquarius. But, you know, with power on both sides of the coin, sometimes we can run into some not so, you know, higher frequency of this energy. So I will be talking about both as we go through um, this series. So, you know, don't suit the messenger. I'm just saying. So for Scorpio here in this fourth house, this is where we're going to be seeing a lot of changes in the home. Fourth house is the home. This is the not only like physical residents of location residents, which, which a lot of you Scorpio Risings might be moving residents during this time. Um, you might be returning to different residents here, or because like we talk about, you know, Aquarius being in the distance, maybe you traveling to a completely different place or residence and location during this time. And it might come as a shock because like I said, Uranian energy is just like complete shattering change. You're like, well, I didn't expect this to happen, but here we are, here we go. And you end up moving um, locations but this also has to do with like the root your roots their family ancestral roots you know where you come from and the, even the home that you grew up in as well there could be a lot of changes in the home and Aquarius is this energy of like I said rebel rebellion so maybe if you know in your family dynamic 
maybe for example you grew up with this set of like ideas um maybe you had like this certain image or um because it's going to be squaring off to your sign because you know scorpio is a fixed water aquarius is fixed air so it's going to be creating some tension here in this specific area of your life which is the self um so there's going to be this theme of your upbringing like what actually has made and um what has actually created you what has actually made you into the person that you are and that actually starts from your home base and like i said this is not just the home that you have grew up in you know during this lifetime this is going to be past life things coming up from secrets to you know family secrets to things that were just never resolved having to be squalled out and resolved in this sector um there could be this just level of wanting and needing to take space you know and form your own path and way completely separate and distant from the family dynamic you know i'm not saying that you're going to completely for some you might you know during this pluto transit there might be just some some real deep cuts in the family sector you know maybe you found find out some information in you know uh, regards to the family because pluto is about exposure so things being brought up and exposed in the family and you decide maybe to go separate ways or just maybe because aquarius is distant in a sense, in a way, it's creating distance between these um, ideas or things that you've always knew in this family dynamic. Um, and also, you know, it, it maybe these changes can usher in some real just ground shaking changes in these over these next coming years that maybe it pulls your family closer. But I will say just within this particular dynamic that things are going to have to fall. Um, things are going to have to break before they can actually usher in real, real change, real change. And um, Aquarius, this or Scorpio rising in this Aquarius in the fourth house definitely can feel like there's pieces of this particular energy that can become lost um with pluto here you could feel this because aquarius oftentimes because it's so unconventional and when we talk about aquarius just in astrology in general we do talk about a lot of times you'll hear like these detached aspects of Aquarius and it's not because Aquarius is actually detached it feels a lot it's just the way in which it goes through the feeling is through this mental energy you know there's a lot of practicality that comes with the emotions you know what I'm saying it's Saturnian ruled still so but that does not mean that their emotions are not there but sometimes it can come off as cold to the people around you of how you decide to deal with these family or feel, deal with this familial dynamics so i'll just say that going back to the root of where a lot of things sprawled up for you in your childhood and like i said in these past life incarnations you could just feel it, it could be heavy I, i'll say that you could just feel a sense of heaviness but at the same time on the opposite end of that is a very powerful energy because we're not like I said talking about just this physical home of like the location of where you are at when we do talk about the fourth house this is finding the peace this is finding the the, the inner power within the self within the vessel of the home of self that is what's going to be transforming within this particular transit and it's going to be one that is jarring because it is happening in a place in your home center, in your home space where, you know, essentially that you supposed to feel comfortable, right? But because these things are happening and it seems like these things are kind of contouring you this way and contouring you that way, you know, you could just feel 
just a little jarred in this area of your life. And so I just want you to keep that in mind. Um, but there would definitely be a lot of secrets revealed, shocking secrets revealed um, during this transit that you were not even aware of that could be coming up. Um, there could be uncovering, like I said, of childhood past lives, um, releasing these ideals of the family dynamic. That's not to say that there aren't going to be things that stick with you, but you're going to be literally changing your uh, thought processes around home and family on a molecular level, like a DNA level. Like maybe the way in which you've seen family, home, and community in this way is going to be shifting in this time. Um, so I just want you to keep that in mind um, when moving through this transit. Um, like I said, changing locations of home. Um, if you could be changing like actual physical homes like neighborhood homes in a sense but like i said because aquarius is off in the distance in a sense this could be like a drastic home change like where you're like okay well i'm just gonna completely go to another whole other place you know during this time or like i said you could be returning to the place of residence maybe for a brief time and period all to eventually leave and go off into another place um or space that you might have not even um considered you know being in so those are the things that, that could definitely come up during this time um now when we do talk about the fourth house this is like we talk about the upbringing how you were raised your environment your immediate environment and things like that even though we do talk about this energy of the sixth house being like health and wellness and things of that sort what we can start to see here um because the north node will be in aries there could be this sextile that forms um as well to this arian house um that can really help that can really support in terms of like health and um wellness and things um getting your health together so exploring like different um healing these different you know uh, parts and aspects of yourself through this time so maybe you start to study about you know um uh, alternative alternatives forms of health and wellness you know during this particular period um you could even be switching like your physical routines in the home like uh, routines that you uh, maybe usually do um, to work out or just for example if you have like some type of meditation practice or something like that that you did in a home these things could be shifting and changing to support your elevation to support your um, uh, just overall physical health like I said this has to do with our internal home your vessel the way that you in which you take care of your home you know your your inner world and so these things could definitely be shifting as well here too um so exploration and exploring your emotional depth that's another thing i don't think i mentioned in the fourth house but it's ruled by cancer so just exploring like your emotional depth um your like i said your ancestral roots your connection to your emotional depth um a lot of times because aquarius in the fourth house a lot of times oftentimes aquarius can feel very misunderstood you know in this part of the chart and self that feels like I said that sometimes can feel just very distant from the world in a sense of like my home is not here like my home I know is in a different place and this world is just so different you know from what I'm what actually resonates with me and aligns with me and so it can be hard to like really get a grasp on being here so your emotional depth to yourself will be also undergoing a complete transformation during this time and as you are starting to transform in your internal world the connections that you make during this time are going to look a lot different 
as well with the people that you surround yourself with, the people that you resonate with. You know, if there was distance in these connections that you made with people, you know, these connections can start to, I would say, eventually fill the gaps. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be the easiest transition because it's really about being open and allowing yourself to be vulnerable in a sense of where as you are doing this deep uncovering within the self and your home space and your upbringing and healing these childhood wounds and things like that, your outer world of like the people that are coming in is being able and having to discern, you know, who's who and what's what. Now, I will say also, too, because Pluto is transiting Aquarius, is being aware of cults. Okay, stomach. Being aware of cults, being aware of manipulation in terms of, you know, looking or searching for this, you know, resolve uh, spiritually or trying to find like a home or uh, a home in sense of like a community because, you know, your fourth house can definitely also be a community or home space of people and community and searching for this. So going off to a place where you can be, cause Pluto, like I said, is the dark side of things. So being taken advantage of in a group or communal or home space. So just being aware of this, you know, before the things happen of who it is that you are associating yourself with in these group dynamics because the times that we are moving into it is going to be very easy to be manipulated manipulated through people um if like i said definitely using discernment you know sometimes because we are here to learn that's not always going to be 100 percent. but just keeping an eye out for that your tribe is going to be coming to you during this time but like I said, there's also going to be the opposing end of that. That's not necessarily a tribe, but people who might be trying to take your personal power. So just keeping that in mind when you are, like I said, navigating through this um, energy in the fourth house, you know, and making sure that I need some water, y'all. I need to get a glass of water. <clears throat> making sure that you are navigating um, these spaces with just having that extra eye open to knowing what is actually for you and what could actually be in the detriment to you. Um, you could also find, especially with Pluto and Aquarius, I, I would definitely say, especially because, you know, Aquarius is energy, we see isolation, especially Pisces as well too, but Aquarius, we could see just being isolated and iced out and, I would just say this, you definitely might find yourself taking a lot more time to be alone during this time. You might find yourself wanting to be alone, to live alone, to have your own space where you can just think and be. Um, but just try not to isolate yourself to the point of no return here. And when I say the point of no return, that doesn't mean that you won't find your community and tribe and things like that. But I just think it's more so about um, having the balance of like community, but then also having the balance of having the time and space where you can like really harness um, this healing within yourself. Your um, Also, your spiritual gifts and abilities are also going to be heightening as well with Pluto and Aquarius here. Um, past life gifts that you've had are going to be coming back to you. You might even have premonitions and downloads of this, um, you know, some of the gifts and abilities that you harnessed within a past life. So I just want you to keep that in mind moving forward. And this was Pluto and Aquarius for these uh, Scorpio risings in fourth house in Aquarius. Um, I definitely, like I said, this will be the series. I will definitely make a roundup video for what Pluto and Aquarius look like in the 1700s and also what it's going to be playing out, the themes playing out collectively in this energy. 
um towards the end of the month and um yeah y'all already know what it is it's a rainstorm checking in checking out without a doubt make sure y'all comment down below let me know what you think and i will see y'all on the next one with the libra rising and pluto going through the fifth house you already know what it is